Hello and welcome to Miss Joy's Spiritual Life Advice Channel. I'm Miss Joy and I'm here to do your daily fast five for love and relationships. I'm going to pull five cards and see what the overall energy is for you. My Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Tuesday, July 16th. Thank you to my returning subscribers and to any new viewers. You Welcome to everyone. You are all loved and greatly appreciated. If you have not yet done so, please take the time to hit like and subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated. Thank you so very much. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into... No, I'm sorry. We're not going to get into your energy. We're going to talk <sighs> about the lunar eclipse that is occurring on Tuesday, July 16th. As I said in the solar eclipse videos that were posted for July 2nd when we had the solar eclipse, I'm going to put it in a playlist so you guys can go click on that on the playlist and watch it if you had not seen it. It talks about eclipses and the current planetary placements. And um, what was said in that video along with a lot of other things was that any eclipse of any kind, depending on if it's a solar eclipse or lunar or lunar eclipse and what houses it occurs in, it is all a clearing out of energy. It's a time of renewal. It's 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 to clear out anything that no longer serves you. Okay? It's to eliminate things from your life that are holding you back. So basically, because we have the sun in Cancer currently, and the, the eclipse is actually occurring in um, Capricorn, it's going to be an emotional clearing out. And so it will be clearing out emotional issues and people that need to go, that need to go from your life. Relationships. Now, it could be work relationships, it could be family, it could be friends, it could be romantic. But so basically, Tuesday is like relationship D-Day. It's the day you're going to make a decision. Should someone stay in their life or should they go? All right? Okay. So that being said, if, it's, it's, if you're choosing to let someone go, let it go. Because it is holding you back and needs to go. And if it's something you're choosing to keep, make sure you're keeping it for good and positive reasons. And that it's something that's going to affect your life in a positive manner. Don't hold on to anything that's going to and has been holding you back and holding you down. Let it go. Okay? So that you can move forward. Alright? Okay. I love you guys. And we're going to go ahead and get into your energy. Alright, Cancer. We're going to ask Spirit of the Ancestors. Gods and goddesses, guardian angels and watchers, to please be here to deliver a positive message for my cancers, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, for Tuesday, July 16th. Okay, we're going to shuffle your energy into the cards a little bit. And then we'll see what cards Spirit wants you to have. Come on. There we go. The judgment card. The ace of swords. Oh. The three of cups. The nine of cups. And the Queen of Staffs. Okay, so whenever I do one of these, this is the second one, but I'm seeing a pattern now. Whenever I do one, when we're having the eclipse, it basically tells me what you're going to be clearing out. Or what you're going to be, what it is that, that's, going, that's going on that you need to release. Um, judgment card. The Ace of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Staffs. Oh, so... So, basically, you got some family that's in your business a little bit too much. I mean, and you love them, but you really just don't, like, want them all up in your shit. 
I mean, that's not wrong. You're doing great for yourself. You're you're coming up with the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Staffs energy. But I'm getting here that you simply just need to talk to. There's some family that you need to. Now, for some of you, there's a family member that you need to make amends with. Okay? Because you had a falling out with or an argument and you need to fix it. Okay, but for others of you, whatever it is, either way, you need to talk good or bad. Like I said, because it can be, the D-Day can be to keep someone and work on it or to let a person go. But either way, you need to keep, it's, it's a family member. It's not, I'm not getting a romantic situation here. Okay, I'm getting that this is a family member or a friend or something of that nature that you need to talk to and make some amends with. You need to have a truthful conversation with this person. Honest and truthful. With the Judgment card, the Ace of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups. You love this person and this person loves you. There's definitely love here. And you need to go in in that manner, in a caring manner, okay? Proceed with love in this situation, all right? Do, do it. Don't, don't go in if it was an angry disagreement or an issue that, that caused a lot of anger. Don't go in with that anger, you know? Go in in a good place. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, go in. Handle it with love, okay? Go in in a, in a humble, t be humble. Be humble. Be loving, be caring, be considerate, be kind, be loving. Take the Nine of Cups with you. Go in the Queen of Staffs energy and get it done. You know. To me, the Queen of Staffs is a very... She's a very diplomatic card. She's not a, an over-emotional card. She's not an overly harsh card. Okay. Spirit of advice do we have? Spirit. Okay. Oh, okay. There was four. And we'll take four. That's okay. All right. <clears throat> Meditate and contemplate. Okay, so think about this. Think through what happened. Um, think through what's right. Think through how you feel. Um, think, th think through the think the best about the best way to approach this person and to approach this matter with this person. Like I said, with love and kindness. Um, balance spirituality and practicality. Okay, so what this says is you're not going to use your head, you're not going to use your heart and your emotions. You're going to use a good, healthy balance of both. Okay, you're going to balance spirituality and practicality. You're going to, you know, you make a heart and head decision, not one too much of either. Okay, okay. You are good enough. Okay, so... If this is a situation where a person put you down or made you feel bad about yourself or about your life or about your choices, go in with your confidence in place and let this person know that, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm not what you think or what you said that I am and that really hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Go in with the confidence to know who you are when you go into this. And that helps the other person to realize who you are as well. Okay? All right. Um, and a time to give rather than take. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know. Just, just be, be kind. Be kind. And if this person doesn't meet you with the same kindness, then that lets you know something. <clears throat> that really lets you know something. Okay? Alright, I love you guys. And, uh, I hope you work through this. I hope this works out well for you. All right. Remember, like I said, um, you're going to use your head and heart. You sit down and really think about how you want to approach this and, and go into this with full confidence of, of self and who you are. Okay. All right. Um, and listen as well. Give rather than 
time to give rather than to take. It, it could talk about attention and understanding as well. So listen as well as you hear. If you understand what I'm saying. All right. I love you, and I'll talk to you guys on Wednesday. Bye-bye. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.